Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. And no snow angels for us here in the valley, at least with this storm. Once again, it's been the story all winter long, it seems like. But some of us have still seen some snow out there. We have our brand new sky cam here in the Red Rose City as we glance eastbound, crisp and clear, but not the nicest view here as we end the work week as the storm system continues to move to our north and west. There's the center of circulation right there, so we're on the warm side of it once again. But the difference with this one, we're going to eventually see a new center of circulation take over off the coast, or at least pretty close to the Atlantic seaboard, and that may try to throw a little more snow back our way, possibly early tomorrow. But we're still seeing the heaviest snow and the bulk of it to our north and east where temps are colder. Here at home in the valley, it's been mainly a raw rain with some snow trying to mix in at times. So zooming in on dual pole Doppler radar, we can see Super Doppler radar showing any snow for the most part confined between Mifflin and Juniata County eastbound through Northumberland, a little bit of northern Lebanon up into Schuylkill County. We're seeing some of that snow as well, but it sounds like at least here in the studios, it's coming down here in Lancaster once again a little heavier, and we're seeing that across York back westward into Adams County as well. So if you're driving tonight, definitely want to uh, take it easy out there, but the good news is at least in terms of wintry impacts, they're low, but still could be a little bit slow going out there because of the rain, maybe some reduced visibility. So that's going to continue through the remainder of the afternoon into the evening commute. Overnight, really no impacts out there. Tomorrow morning, maybe some wraparound snow possible, but still low impact with this uh, system, really. Not a huge impact, which is good news. Temperatures, you can see why we're seeing the bulk of this coming in the form of rain. It's above freezing, colder than Sealands Grove, freezing in Lewistown, but most of us are hanging out right around 40 degrees. And that's the case as you head upstairs into the atmosphere as well, as that warm air eventually wraps around into our neck of the woods. Rain and snow showers through the remainder of the evening, still leaving that impact period, but most of this will start to taper off as we start to see some dry air work up into the valley, but it's still going to be a raw, chilly, damp evening for us. Overnight could, he, could even see a few snow showers, but overall less precipitation, low to mid thirties for our lows, which is still chilly. And then tomorrow morning, again, watching out for a snow shower too early on, but overall mainly cloudy, a blustery and cold day for the St. Patrick's Day Parade with highs in the forties. Here's predictor. You can see that precipitation tapering off as we head through the remainder of the evening past dinner time. But there's some of that wraparound I was talking about. Maybe a few snow showers as we head through the early part of our Saturday. Some peaks of sun farther west, but more clouds, especially central and eastern reaches of the valley. But overall, going to be a windy day. Not going to feel all that nice out there with the help of that wind coming out of the north northwest. In terms of any more snow accumulation, I see a coating really at best. And that's going to be uh, for our northern neighborhoods, especially north of I-81. And even that likely on the grass, nothing on the road. Still could see a few slushy spots out there, possibly in the counties under that winter weather advisory. That does include Mifflin, Juniata, Northumberland, and now uh, some of uh, our areas north and east, including Schuylkill County, but most of the valley not under any sort of advisory with this. I mentioned the wind kicking back up as we head through Saturday. Could have gusts close to 30 miles per hour, making it feel colder. So if you are heading out to the parade, you will definitely want to bundle up out there. I know I'll be wearing my green bundle up. <laughs> Temperatures back in the 40s tomorrow, mostly cloudy. We'll start to clear some during the evening. And then Sunday, we'll have some sun to start, but our next storm system moves in later in the evening into the overnight. This one, may bring some minor accumulations of snow. So then we'll be keeping tabs on in the weather center. We're back close to 40 Monday with that rain and snow likely. And then behind that, blustery cold as we head toward our Tuesday, Jerry.